In this Malaysia vlog, we make our final stop on the Malaysia Jungle Railway at the town of Kuala Lipis. We explore some of the local food scene, including some of the best donuts we've ever tasted. We also share some of the Kuala Lipis attractions that we visited during our stay. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're back at this Travellers. And we're coming to you from Kuala Lipis, Malaysia. We've just got off the train at Kuala Lipis and we just walked across the road and we saw this restaurant that looked really popular. So we decided to give it a look ourselves. And so we've got some really nice looking food here. So this is a Nazi caribou, which I find a little bit interesting. So we're now in the state of Pahang, which is northeast Malaysia, but uh, it's next to the state of Kelantan, which is the northern eastmost state. And what I've noticed interesting about this is that the Nazi caribou is not coloured blue. So usually the rice is blue. So it's normal rice. Maybe that's a Pahang thing. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure it will taste good regardless. And we've also got a bakso, which is like a soup with meatballs in it. And we've got one of our favourite drinks, the syrup bandung, but it's a float, so it comes with some ice cream. This looks really, really good. So, I might have a sip of the bandung first. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that, that rose taste is so unique. You don't get anything like this in Australia, so we are just lapping this up here in Malaysia. Uh, now, I'm going to try the Nazi caribou's. This comes with chicken, so so it's obviously rice, there's some cabbage and some shallots in there, and I think this is, it's like there's a coconut mix on top, which I'm going to mix in. Okay, I'm just going to try some. Yeah, I just really love that taste of the coconut. So. There are some herbs or spices in there as well, which just make it so delicious. So, yeah, it goes really well with the rice. This chicken looks really interesting, really well fried. I wonder whether there's a marinade on top. I don't know. It's cut really nicely, so it's very easy to rip apart. Oh, that's all, almost like a tandoori chicken. There's a little bit of heat to it. And it tastes like there's some spices are marinating over the chicken as well. So, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So this is the back so. So there's cabbage in here, meatballs. You know, all you need to do is put meatballs onto the dish, and it's always going to be a winner for me. So, and I think there are like fried onion bits as well, and the me, the noodles. So, yeah. We, we've really enjoyed bakso as well when in Malaysia. It's a really nice, comfort, easy food to eat. Mm. It comes in a broth, which are, it's probably like a meat broth. Mm. So it's, it's quite salty. And then the meatballs. Mm. Yeah, they're good. So far, a great start to Kuala Lipa. Master Kukoi has been serving up delicious Kukoi to satisfied customers since 1987. So Kukoi is a fried dough, it looks delicious, they prepare it fresh and they've got a variety of different flavours and varieties. So we've got a plain one or a basic one here, which is only 60 ringgit cents. So we've got it with a kaya butter and I love this vibrant green colour. Kaya reminds me of custard. It's really smooth. It's got that custard kind of consistency, so it's a bit thick and it's served warm. So yeah, it's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. Works perfectly with the kakoi, which is nice and crispy and then soft on the inside. Mmm. Oh, so good. We've also got sweet kakoi, which comes in a variety of different fillings, including kaya and coconut. Mm. Oh, 
you. One cafe we fell in love with in Kuala Lipis was Bumblebee Cafe. It also had really fast Wi-Fi too. Bumblebee Cafe is a really cool cafe in Kuala Lipis. Uh, so it's a really nice space. They've got pretty fast Wi-Fi, it's air conditioned, it's very comfortable. And they've got a whole range of delicious cakes and drinks and food. So we've chosen the Crunchy Bumblebee, which is an ice cream that has chocolate. It's got, I think it's got honeycomb and oh, it looks delicious. So let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, so it's got boba in there and it's got, oh that chocolate's really rich. The honeycomb's really crunchy and then you've got that beautiful vanilla ice cream. Mm. Yeah, so this is one of the more pricey places to eat in Kuala Lipis. This was over 10 ringgit, but I think it's well worth it. There are a number of religious sites worth visiting in Kuala Lipis, Malaysia. The first temple we visited was Tian Hu Temple. This Buddhist temple was built in 1898 and it still stands despite being flooded by the nearby river numerous times over the years. The state mosque is even older and was built in 1888. It's said that this mosque is particularly special because despite being close to the river, it hasn't been impacted by the historical floods over the last century. There is also a Sikh temple that is over 100 years old, just showing the religious diversity of the area. We've come to Wesley Cafe, which is conveniently across the road from where we're staying. We've chosen a couple of dishes here. So this is, I think this is a chi mi. I think that's what it was called. So it's a noodle dish in a broth and it looks like there's egg in here, there's some chicken as well and I think we've got some wontons too and of course some noodles. That looks good. And this is a lime plum juice. Now the person who served it to us said it was an Assam boy. I have seen the name of that drink elsewhere so uh, I didn't realise it was a lime plum juice. So. This is a first for me. Time for the meat. So, let's try some of this broth. Yeah, it's quite nice and mild. It's a little bit salty. So it's it's definitely a chicken type broth. I love wontons and I love fried wontons. Yeah, that's a good addition to the dish. This is a chicken chop. So we did order the black pepper sauce chicken chop. However, we found out quite late that they, they'd run out of the black pepper sauce. So instead we have the tomato chicken chop. So it still looks nice. And it comes with a side of fries, comes with a fried egg as well, and some coleslaw. So it still looks really nice. So let's get into this. Oh, that's interesting. That's, okay, so it's... Yeah, so the chicken chop, it's like a slice of chicken, just like you have a lamb chop. This looks like it's been fried, and it could be, a, it sort of looks a bit sweet and sour. Yeah, so this is more of a tomato puree over the top, not like a ketchup. So, yeah, it's, it's quite pleasant. I guess I probably would have preferred the, the black pepper sauce, but this is still nice, and I, I like the fact that the chicken's fried. You know, you can never go wrong with fried chicken. A friendly local recommended that we have breakfast at the Jalan Tan Sri Abdul Razak food court. Make sure you get there early for the best food, as when we arrived, a lot of the stalls had already sold out of all their food. markets in the Kuala Lipis Old Town. So this one is Jalan Tan Sri Abdul Razak. Oh, that's quite a mouthful. 
So there are a whole range of different stalls that you can choose through from and it's a really interesting market because it just goes down in steps. So it's yeah, a little bit different. So we've just gone with some chicken, vegetables and rice. So I think this might be a sweet and sour chicken. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's sweet and sour chicken. Quite nice, so uh, fried and battered on the outside and just smothered in this sweet and sour sauce. So I've got some rice with it as well and some veggies. So this was six ringgit altogether. To round out our breakfast, we've also got some sticky rice or glutinous rice. So this comes with chicken in there as well. So I think it's probably right down the bottom. I can't really find it just yet, but trust me, there is chicken in there as well. Another food court to try in Kuala Lipis is Medancelera China. Whilst we didn't get the chance to eat here, we observed that it appeared really popular with locals and served Chinese non-halal food. Just before we headed to the bus station, we decided to take some local advice and wander up the hill to visit Museum Warasan. It's a nice walk through a forest road, but unfortunately when we arrived the museum was closed. The museum shares the local colonial history of the area as well as some local political history. After our brief stay in Kuala Lipis, we were headed to the Kuala Lipis bus station to go to the town of Raub, the durian capital of Malaysia. The station is well serviced with multiple buses a day, mainly going to Kuantan, the capital of the state of Pahang, as well as Kuala Lumpur. We hope you enjoyed our Kuala Lipis vlog. If you liked it, click that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving a comment. If you want more Malaysian content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to follow us on our bucket list adventures around Malaysia. We are bucket list travellers. See you next time.